Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Kira Summer and today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to stretch your image on Photoshop. And we're not just going to be going over one way on how to do this, we're actually going to be going over two different ways on how to achieve this. And I promise you, by the end of this video, you guys will be stretching, editing Photoshop machines at least in this one department. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go get started. We are in Photoshop and now there is just a couple more steps that you need to do in order to achieve this look that you're going for with whatever image that you have up on your screen right now. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go on the left hand side and we are gonna click on the marquee tool, which is basically the box on the left side. And once we click on this marquee tool, what we can do is we can make a box around whatever area on this image we wanna stretch. So please avoid any people because they probably don't want extremely long legs or maybe 10 foreheads. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a box right over top of the subject in this screen, which so happens to be me. And then we are gonna click on the edit bar at the top left hand side of our screen and then go down to free transform. So if you have a MacBook right now, instead of going through all of that hassle, all you have to do is click Command T and Command T will get to the exact same destination. And then what we have to do now is we have a box around the box we originally had. And then we just need to hold down on the shift bar the whole time and then pull up on the box in the middle top of your screen or on the box that you created. And you'll notice that your whole image now is being stretched upwards and it's staying in the form that it needs to be at least if you're holding down the shift key while you're doing this. If you're not holding down the shift key, just press Command Z, which will undo what you did, and then make sure you hold down on the shift bar. So now that we finished that, what we can do is we can make the mountains a little bit pointier if we wanted to as well. So how we're gonna do this is we are gonna go back to the top menu, but this time we're gonna click on filter. And then once we click on filter, we can go down to liquify. Click on liquify and it'll plop you into a whole new screen. And once we're in this screen, you will have a bunch of menu bars on the right hand side, but all we're really gonna fiddle with is the size tool. So we're gonna make the size a little bit bigger than the points on the mountain. And then we're gonna go over to the mountain and just slightly pull upwards with this brush tool. And you'll notice it just stretches the top ever so slightly as long as you do it gently. And then just also make sure that none of the area around the place that you're pulling upward is affected so it doesn't have any weird curvy lines there. And as you'll notice in this photo, we actually do not have that. So we're just gonna go down to the bottom, click OK. And now we're back in the screen. We have a photo that's completely stretched and that's all. We are now professionals. We are now out in the field and we can do this to whatever images we want to. I hope this video is helpful and I will see you on the next one. Bye.